Some people should be named Iran. Because when guns get to popping and their friends find later on, they be like, where'd you go? They be like, I ran. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? When they jumped me and I tried to run, I ran out of breath. <laughs> yeah, honey, forever saying, I ran out of time. <laughs> I have time to get it done. <laughs> yeah, y'all. They had this fine honey on TV. She was bad to the bone. I was like, Lord. She fine. You know I was mad at him. Then they said she ate clay. I'm like, damn. What's wrong with her mind? <laughs> she fine in the mug and eating clay. <laughs> Why? Take a chance. <laughs> I'm ruining nobody. If she grows some orange trees out of that joint, people be like, oranges, oranges. Who cares? I ain't got time for oranges. <laughs> she be like, damn. <laughs> How somebody that fine, without research, not from hearsay, say, it's a sediment for your internal organs. Yeah, I guess it is a sediment. Dirt is a sediment. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a sediment. <laughs> so it's going to settle. <laughs> yeah. Don't eat no seeds. <laughs> Get the gun. Get the gun for Miss Louisiana. <laughs> or the straight jacket, because she got a problem. <laughs> She obsessed with being straight. Everybody gotta be straight if she's straight. She obsessed with letting the world know I'm not. She needs a straight jacket. Don't give her a gun. <laughs> so she can get some prison bars or something. <laughs> Better take me out of my misery. <laughs> Damn. She might take her husband out too. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She'll be kirking her heck out. I'm straight. I'm not. Michael Jackson. He he. Women hated that. He was he was he was mocking them. That's what they be laughing. They be laughing at him. I go ah ka 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 ka. Michael Jackson said, he he. <laughs> They'd be like, what kind of man say he he? <laughs> One is mocking you. <laughs> Just making it. <laughs> Everybody love those video games, don't they? Boy, I should have been, I should have been saying, dang, video games. Oh, they playing video games now. Peeking in on people. Playing games on. Mm -mm. Got the kids twitching their fingers. Click, 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 click. We. Damn. That's a double whammy. They tell on the people they want to tell on by looking at them through video and desensitize the kids at the same time with those violent video games. Yeah. Boy, the dog is coming to light like a mug. Ooh, mug shot. Shouldn't have said that. I ain't grow up on video games. I grew up on sit and spin. <laughs> Dumb toys like that that you get bored with in five minutes and just leave it in the corner. You know what I'm saying? The big wheel. We be rolling around the corner on the big wheel. Jumping over ramps and stuff. Be exciting. Outside playing with our toys. Then they came along with video games. <laughs> Kids sitting on the sofa. Couch potatoes. Education went down. Shoot. Boy, I tell you. I wanted to say something else about those video games. What else about the video games, Don? Don. Don, Don. Video game. I think of it. Yeah, it is. The name of y'all, man.
Did he like video games? The Columbine shoot. Did they like video games? Muhammad and Malvo. Did they like video games? How about Connecticut? Did he like video games? See, I, don't, I got a video game. I got a Wii. I barely play the damn thing. I don't even know how to operate the remote. My grandson, or so-called grandson, kicked my butt in basketball. Yeah, video games. Y'all seen the movie Luke, right? About the little boy who couldn't get any um, attraction from a woman or a girl in the school. So he did this heroic, heroic thing and went out for the football team. Messed up in the game and stuff, but he still became a hero and got the girl. You doing these kids like Luke now? They picking up guns. I bet you. You doing me like Luke? Is it Luke Lucas? Lucas. And I bet you the guy that started stabbing the kids with the knife can't explain why he did it. They probably treat them like Lucas. And he just because we know freaked out. So, when the Bible in Revelation says the walking dead are people killing people and living their lives, yeah, they dead collecting their social security checks and veterans checks. And people don't know they really dead. Is that what's happening to the economy too? People really dead. Dead men walking. They collecting somebody else's check. A dead man's check. This would be a trip. The government found out immigrants with killing veterans taking their homes and collecting their checks. That would be a trip, but well, somebody was doing it. And that's complete identity theft. Killing somebody, taking it home, their car, assuming that they're them, taking over their whole identity. Oh, black yourself. Yeah, and collecting a social security check or a disabled veteran check for income. Well, if they found out something like that, a lot of people would go down. I bet you. disabled veterans getting killed for their checks. Tell you what, if it's not happening, that would be a good Hollywood new movie. A horror flick. Having veterans being taken over. <laughs> you can call it the takeover. The secret, top secret takeover. Or you could do a scenario for a movie where veterans go into this battle, win, and come home. And have college graduates take over. <laughs> Somebody who contributed nothing to the country. Just take over their home, assume their home. Yeah. You can make it big. Have it a secret government. Secret. Have a president behind it all. I ain't saying Obama. It ain't gotta be black. But an evil president behind it all. Saying something like, they won't know what I've done until it's too late. Then having the army and the national guard come in to save us. Y'all might as well call on Jesus because I can no longer and am no longer willing to help you. Help yourself. Am I being prosecuted for a past statute of limitations incident? I did one incident when I was a kid in my football pants. My sister stole the rent money and went to New York. We had a good time. We ain't have nothing to eat for a whole month. I was out playing football. Somebody robbed somebody at Pier 1, stole somebody's purse. One of them happened to have their hair braided like mine, the same t-shirt on as mine, lighter skin. 
I went to the store with the dude that stole the money to get a pizza because I was hungry and got arrested with it. No, you're looking for Grady Vaughn. You ain't looking for Duncan Duffy. I had on football pants, they had on swim trunks. They just came from the swimming pool. With this identity theft, with this identity theft, I wouldn't be surprised if I committed crimes all over the United States. Somebody's saying they Duncan Duffy. Thank you, media. Dear yeah, media, you left me vulnerable to terrorists and everything. They could get my ID, my good credit, buy something, and tear up something. Thank you. You don't know the magnitude of what you do. I'm glad you did beat me up, ghetto bird, and change my face. Because I don't look like my nephew now. And when somebody robbed that bank that looked like my nephew, I could have been false accused for that. Yeah, glad he had braids too. Thank you, ghetto birds, for not welcoming me to the hood. I probably would have been on heroin by now. Thank you for beating me up, rearranging my face, changing my identity. Thank you for taking all my money and selling me demos because I ain't get hooked. Thank you. You thought you was getting over on me, but you did me a big favor. And I did you a favor too by trying to get you off the corner. Yeah, that's all right. I paid the price. I'm cool with it. Thank you. Yeah, that's right, Ghetto Birds. Thank you for giving me an experience I never want to experience again. You won't see me coming back. America, you know those Ghetto Birds? They still qualify to go into the military if you don't examine them. If you send them, once they get popped, they ain't got no other choice. Why draft? You take them right off the street. They tough. They ain't scared to die. Just tell them, what would you rather do? Die on the street or for your country? For your kids? For your girl? They perfect candidates. Cause you see they don't believe in the Prince of Peace. They don't follow Jesus' laws. What recruiters? You go to the schools and get them. But you won't go to the streets and get them. You go in the battlefields and face gunfire. But you won't go down to the streets and get the fellas. Off the corners. Show them a life. Then the recruiter's talking about a shortage of entry. You go out and get it. You sitting behind your desk. Ain't nobody trying to come in there. You go get them. You got cars, military vehicles, gas, free gas. Shoot. Take some recruits out there with you to talk to them. Some veterans. Sergeants, people who've been around the world. Recruiters, what in the hell do you need an entry, a genius exam score for to be in the infantry? I'm gonna be real. Judges out there, judges out there, Yana. I bet you they'll straighten up if you start throwing them in the infantry. They'll get it right then. If I do that, they'll throw me in the infantry. White man's wall. No, no. <laughs> Think about it, Your Honor. Think about it, judges. Malibu. The military is spread then. We all over the, abroad. Ain't nobody here to protect us. What the drug dealers gonna do for us? Get us hooked? Seriously. We need them right now. Entrance exam, what's that? Just to go out there and get shot at anyway. Who can't operate a gun? 
Yeah, you don't need an IQ to operate a gun, to pull a trigger, or throw a grenade, or drive a tank. All you need is training. And think about it. If they don't believe in keeping the peace, make them fight for the peace. Whether they want to or not. And since it's equal rights, do the women the same way. The ones out there on the pipe, wasting away. Throw them in the military too. When you bust them. I don't know, medically speaking, as far as a woman's concerned, but if you get your tubes tied, can you get them untied? Like a vasectomy. Well, you should make it mandatory for women to do that to join the military. Have their tubes tied. Because they'll get pregnant during the time of war to get out. And they're obligated to You have the Navy intelligence. But they ain't that intelligent. They tell you not to get a vasectomy so you won't get trapped by a woman. But they should also tell you not to get a vasectomy because you don't want to die and leave your kids behind. You don't want a family while you're in the military, really. And coaches who have aspiring athletes who might make it in the pro, you should talk to their parents about a vasectomy too because you can get a reverse later on in life when you're ready to have kids. I'm back. I would suggest abstinence. That's impossible in the year 2014 with all the sex on TV showing it. I mean, even without the clothes coming off. It's just a sexual society. So it would be economically feasible for the military to say mandatory vasectomy and tube time. Yeah. Because we don't want to keep taking care of a family. After the man dies, that's a burden on their economy. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna join the military. <laughs> Not to force you to go in now. They do that. Yeah. And then we ain't got to worry about people pinning babies on us. And we taking care of illegitimate children. I can't prove it. And you're just in, you're expandable anyway. You join the military. They say go to the front line. You gotta go. Yeah, military generals and admirals. This women got connections. Yeah, they got people in hospitals. They know. They know lawyers, interns. Yeah. They be opening doors, boy, I'm telling you. They know people that do DNA. They know people who can receive money for education. On a fake education. You be thinking you paying the, your child's education. And you paying the child. Child never go to school. They got connections. They slay. Yeah, man. Set them up nice. They know how to play the game. They play yachts. Give them key possession. They can manipulate every one of us, I bet. If I had to get married, I wanted to have like 10 kids. Don't know how I would have supported them. But I see now, in order for a family to survive, you need like every job. There is in society, you need a lawyer in the family. You need a doctor in the family. You know, key position. You need a bank in the family. <laughs> it's a shame that you can't trust nobody. What else you need in the family? Somebody in the military, a police officer. <laughs> we ain't got nobody like that in my family. I don't see no hope for us. That's a good idea for you pro athletes. You can hook your family members up. We let that mule say that. We doctors, lawyers. Until that mule feels like he wants to move again. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. 
destructive. We do not tell the rule because we know the rules can't get us that way. The mule will work when the mule feels good to buy the master. And y'all be saying, don't get it. The mule doesn't work. Or don't Somebody look back. Has to work the take the mule. He's supposed to go back. They call him. Just put him in key position. Keep your family strong. And that's what we said about your yeah, athletes. Because mm-hmm. they proud of you. And we will. Even though you don't do nothing for them, they'll say, that's my cousin. That's my uncle. That's my nephew. People like that. Things like that. And if they admit that you're their cousin or uncle or whatever in their family and you ain't doing nothing for them, you know they're going to support you if you help them. You wouldn't be dumb and wasting the investment on the hopeless, though. Somebody that's black. over the hill and they trying. But they love us though. They love us. But the younger generation. Oh, black. Yeah. Yourself. They'll respect that, the older ones. Yeah. You black men don't, must not realize it. I'm to my bank account trying to help y'all. I got on it. But I tried to help y'all at the same time. I came down there to see why y'all kept on getting out on the corner. I found out. White men, you don't understand. I gave you everything I had. And now you act like you want to kill me. Shoot, y'all crazy. Y'all lost my respect. And I lost her respect because I ain't have a girl. I ain't in love and I die. I hope y'all don't live a minute longer. Let's see if I die by the hand of a bush. The blacks and the whites, everything I had, y'all gonna show me a noose on the tree. <laughs> I ain't got no respect for me. Yeah, white people, white man. Give you a home, a car, food, what the woman gives you for the past 17, 20 years. When you married her, what she give you? Call that comfort, nagging you about dunking every day. Yeah, fuck your white power. It's unjust. Call it lust power to the white power. It seems like you get paid according to how well you Somebody fulfilled your lustful desire. Yeah, y'all make me mad looking at history. Realizing that the civil rights movement ain't take effect until the four girls got blown up in the church. Look how many men got killed before then. Young and old. Yeah, y'all ain't come to our aid until Rosa Parks got thrown off the bus. If it was a man that would not have been done. Who cared about us? Who cares now? Yeah, then I watched people like Trayvon Martin get gunned down and the little boy, the football player, get rolled up in a mat, mysteriously dead, and then drop out in the news all of a sudden. Yeah, y'all don't stay on that story. And they wasn't convicted as being gay. Like me. You find a reason to kill us, huh? It makes me think you really don't like that dark-skinned man if you kill him that young. Then you end up letting a girl go after the Trayvon trial. <laughs> you ain't let a boy go too. <laughs> Just a girl. Guess what, y'all? I got the welfare lady coming into my house when I ain't here saying I got too much. <laughs> Ready to cut off my check saying I got a man. <laughs> so I shouldn't have no check. Damn. Y'all wonder why the black woman don't keep the man when the welfare lady come in. <laughs> you got a man, I'm going to cut off your check. You should have kept me in the workforce. Because I ain't realize I was more prosperous staying at home than working. And <laughs> Maybe I de- developed a black woman's mentality. <laughs> Maybe everybody else has too. I think you develop mine. And did you make them feel unappreciated and worthless and stuff too? That's why they don't clean up the house. Not fitting in the system. Don't belong. That's the way it made me feel. You right. I guess I should be incarcerated because I don't belong in the system. You right. <laughs> you saying I'm out. You won't let me in. 
she don't want me in the system. So I guess I don't, I can't adjust. No matter what. I hate that feeling. Everybody run a game, so they think, if I'm running a game, he must be running a game too. I'm trying to be real.